My name is Robin. I'm Mika. And welcome to, to the, the How, How to, to Dress, dress for All Men video. video. In this video, we will show you what you can wear for the conference. Tell you something about the do's and don'ts of a dress code and maybe explain to you what you should leave at home in your closet. Have fun. And enjoy. Nika will inform you about the dress code for the girls. Please keep in mind that everything we say is just a suggestion and you should wear whatever you're comfortable in. But always follow the dress code. So first off guys we will start with the boys. For you guys it's really important to wear a full suit like Jonathan is doing it. Um, a full suit consists of a good tailored jacket with a shirt, bow tie or tie, well-fitted trousers, and a pair of good-looking shoes. During the conference, it's really important to wear your jacket, especially while holding a speech or standing up. For the choice of the jacket, we suggest basic colors like blue, gray or black. If you decide to wear a pattern, always keep it simple and don't over-exaggerate. Try to match up your suit color with the color of your shirt and maybe even with a tie or the bow tie. Because there are a lot of different shirts on the market, try to choose a color that goes with your style. You could choose be between the shark color, the Kent color, or maybe even the button down color. Of course, your shirt should always be buttoned up completely till the end. And always remember to keep your shirt tucked in your trousers. The knot of your tie should always be in line with your tie so if you have a thin tie, choose a thinner knot, or if you have a thicker tie, choose a wider knot, like maybe the double windsor for thicker ties, or the simple windsor for the thin ties. If your jacket is closed and you're standing up, always keep the tie in the middle, so it does not sit on one side of your jacket. The color of your trousers should always be aligned with the color of your jacket. There are some possibilities where you can combine different colors of trousers and jacket but most of the times you just go with a complete suit. If you're standing in front of your committee in the break like Jonathan is doing it right now then everyone should see your nice looking belt. Try to choose a matching color of your belt with your suit so you don't wear a green belt with a blue suit. And another small hint from me, it looks very good if you wear the same belt color like your shoe color. At the conference you have to wear proper shoes. Please do not wear sneakers or sandals with socks. To do that for the girls dress code. So for the girls it's not as easy as for the boys. A guy just uh, can put on a suit and he's ready to go but a girl has many many different options. Therefore it's important that you choose the right one. Emily's outfit for example consists of black blazer, a nice plain blouse and just regular black pants which is very good and also very formal. At a conference or at the Oldenburg Model United Nations, it is important that your shoulders are covered and also that you have a formal look, which you can achieve by wearing a blazer, for example. If you're wearing a blouse or a dress, just put it on and you're good. For the upper part of your outfit, you can just wear a plain shirt like Emily does right here, or you can also choose a button-up shirt. For the colors, you can go as wild as you want to. You can wear a pink shirt, a red shirt, a green shirt, it doesn't matter, as long as you're wearing a formal blazer on top of it. For the bottoms, you should maybe go with basic pants. Please make sure that you're not wearing jeans or ripped jeans or any type of washed out color. 
for the color make sure that it is aligned with your blazer and in general with the upper part of your outfit. As an alternative to pants, you can also wear a skirt. Just make sure that your skirt is not too short and if it is kind of short, just wear non-see-through thighs underneath it. Another option could be a dress. And there she is wearing a dress. If you decide to wear a dress to the conference, please make sure that it is formal and not a dress that you would maybe wear in your free time. Also, be careful again. A dress should not be too short, just like you do with the skirts. Also, make sure that you're not showing too much cleavage. The dress that Emily is wearing is perfect. She just combines it with a blazer and she has a perfect outfit for one of the committee days. Since our conference is in summer and it can maybe get a little bit hotter in a conference room, just make sure that you're wearing your blazer while giving a speech or while standing. When you're sitting down and just listening to the debate, you can always take it off. Because many of the girls' outfits don't really go with a bow tie or a tie, you can also choose other accessories. For example, you can wear a necklace, maybe some bracelets, a ring or some nice earrings. The last part of your outfit are the shoes. They should match the color of the rest of your outfit, but it doesn't matter if you want to wear flats or heels. If you're wearing heels, don't wear too high heels because it could be annoying when you're walking around. And also, if you want to approach the podium and you trip, that's not something you want. When you wear flats, make sure that there aren't sneakers or any other casual sandals or anything. And see you at the next Oldenburg Model United Nations conference. If you want to see more videos, subscribe right here. And if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below. For important concernings, please contact secretariat at allmune.org. See you soon. Yours, Robin and Nika. Bye. Bye.